Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how you can create a customized quick access toolbar to make working in Excel 2007, working in Excel 2010 easier. Have your workspace set up the way that you prefer to work. Now, especially if you're transitioning, let's say, from Excel 2003 to either Excel 2007 or Excel 2010, no doubt you're experiencing frustration as you go over the learning curve to find out where exactly to access the command that you know exists when you need it. For this, you need to be able to have a customized quick access toolbar. So let's first locate the Quick Access Toolbar. Now in this lesson I'm using Excel 2007. So if you move your mouse up here into the upper left corner you see the Office button. In Excel 2010 you'll see the File tab on the ribbon. Now to the right you'll see a command to save the active workbook. You'll also see commands that you allow you to undo your last action as well as to restore the action that you just undid. And you'll say to yourself, well, what do I need this for? I mean, I already know the keyboard shortcut, Control S, to save the document. I may not realize that it's over here on this crazy Office button. So what I want to do is show you how you can customize the Quick Access Toolbar. So first, let's move it down closer to our working area. So as you move your mouse over here with the screen, green tip, you'll notice that you can customize the Quick Access Toolbar. So here's a list of the most popular commands that with one click you can add to the Quick Access Toolbar, but I first recommend that you move it to show it below the ribbon. So now here's that Quick Access Toolbar. It's a lot closer to our working area. It's also a lot closer to see this drop-down menu to customize the Quick Access Toolbar. So of the most popular commands, I definitely want to add Print Preview in. So now Print Preview has been added into the Quick Access Toolbar. So regardless of the tab of the ribbon, I don't have to go scurrying around to try to find Print Preview. I now have it available on the Quick Access Toolbar. So that's really a great way to start to learn how to adjust to Excel 2007, Excel 2010. Now this time, rather than uh, clicking, well, let's, let's click here once more and add one more command. For example, the spelling, the spell check. So if you don't know the keyboard shortcut F7, you've struggled to say, I know there's got to be a, a, a spell a, a command here on the ribbon. And by accident, maybe you discovered one day on the review tab of the ribbon over here in the uh, printing group. So customizing your quick access toolbar is certainly an improvement. Now, what I want to show you next is how we can take advantage of this dialog box to customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Let's get there another way. Instead of coming over here into the Customize the Quick Access Toolbar and clicking More Commands, if you simply right mouse click any of the commands on the Quick Access Toolbar, you'll be able to get in to the Customize Quick Access Toolbar dialog box. Now, notice over here that this is our new customized Quick Access Toolbar. So we have our three original commands, Save, Undo, and Redo. Save, Undo, and Redo, and then the two commands that we added from the customization, Print Preview and Spelling. Now if we look over here to the left, there are a lot of commands just to say, whoa, I'd love to have these on the Quick Access Toolbar, and these are from a filter for the most popular commands. So let's come over here and let's put in there uh, paste special. So in this case they're in alphabetical sequence and I highlight the command that I want to add, click add, and there it goes. And before you start to go really crazy, you know, you're not a kid in the candy store, don't add every command in here that you possibly see. You're, you're, you're going to have more frustration than you had before. Let's add one more set the print area and then click and add. As a best practice what I recommend is that you add at least one separator bar over here. In this case I'm going to add two separator bars. So first I want to move a separator bar up so that it separates the original three commands from the other commands that I added in. So highlight it over here and then use the up arrow and this time I'm going to place it after the original three commands. 
Now remember I have this set print area so let's select that and move this up actually before the print preview and then let's take this separator and move this up uh, I went up one too far. All right, great. Now, there's another command that I would like to have over here. At the end of the day in Excel 2003, when I wanted to close down, let's say, five open workbooks, if I held down the Shift key and went to the File Close, it gave me a Close All dialog box. And I can't find it for the life of me. Did you realize that there's a filter over here for the commands that you will never find on the ribbon? So let's look over here. Aha, there it is, close all. So highlight it and then add it over here. All right, now that I have my new customized quick access toolbar, in order to see it, what I need to do is I need to make sure that I click OK. Don't click Reset. That will restore you to the default setting. So click OK. And now I have my new customized quick access toolbar. You see that separator bar? You see that separator bar? So it's an easier way to organize your commands. Now let me switch over here to a different tab. And I've shown you how to customize the quick access toolbar adding the most popular commands one at a time or by opening up the more commands dialog box to bring you in to the customize the quick access toolbar dialog box. Remember that there are filters over here. I showed you the popular commands as well as the commands not in the ribbon. The all inclusive list would be over here on the all commands. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition over here and show you another technique which is that instead of creating a customized toolbar for all of your Excel documents, you can create a customized a quick access toolbar workbook by workbook. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this over here and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control tab to open up a different workbook that I have created a customized uh, quick access toolbar for this specific workbook. So in this case I have named it Customize Quick Access Toolbar. So you can see up here that I have the tools that I need. You see those separator bars that I added in there for the specific work that I'm doing. Now, my best practice is that when you create a customized quick access toolbar for a specific workbook, that you close all of your open workbooks. So let's switch back over here, Control Tab, and remember one of the commands I added to the default custom uh, default customized quick access toolbar was to close all. So now with that one button, I've closed them all. Now what I want to do is I want to come over here to a new workbook. Now in this case what I want to do is I want to create a customization for this specific workbook. So the first thing you want to do in this case is come over here and select the workbook that you want to create your customizations for. So now notice over here that I do not have any of the original commands over here. And don't have to recreate it from scratch. I can just come over here and let's say I want to have new, I want to have open, I want to have paste uh, special, and I want to have print preview. From the commands not in the ribbon, let's say that I want to have the calculator and I want to have the camera. Notice that you have to add these one at a time. Let's put in at least uh, one, no, let's put in two separators. All right, now let's come over here and move the separators over here and let's uh, put another separator in between here. So now that I have created it for this uh, document, what I want to do is click OK. So now I have a quick access toolbar that I've customized for just this document. And if there's some commands in here that you don't want to have, for example, the save over here, just right mouse click it on the quick access toolbar and then remove it from the quick access toolbar. So now it is a toolbar that will exist for this workbook. 
Now instead of recreating this workbook by workbook, what I would suggest that you do, and over here I'm going to use the Office button in Excel 2007, and create Save As, and then save it as a template. So in the file of type, come down here and then save it as a template. So when you have a customized Quick Access Toolbar for a specific workbook and you want to recreate that, if you save it as a template, just open up that template and then create your new work. So in this in this case I'm going to close this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this document and I'm not going to save it in this case and I'm going to come back here to our original document learn how to customize the quick access toolbar and I want to show you two more tips we can right mouse click any individual command to add them to the quick access toolbar or we could right mouse click an entire command group so in this case, remember how I, I, I showed you that it was so difficult to find the spell check. For right now, let's uh, just remove it from the document. You do that by right mouse clicking and say remove from the quick access toolbar. Now, instead of putting in that individual command by right mouse clicking and say add to the quick access toolbar, I could put in the entire proofing group. So if you right mouse click on the name of the group and add it into the quick access toolbar, you see it looks identical to the individual command, but now when I click over here, I have that entire group of commands available. So you'll use less space and your commands will be better organized. Let's come over here on the home tab of the ribbon and let's say that I want to add in the entire group of styles. In other words the style gallery right mouse click and say add it to the quick access toolbar so now regardless of the worksheet that I'm on and I'll just type in text what I can do is I now can take advantage of the uh, entire gallery over here so here are all my styles and now what I could do is I could take advantage of the different style and it's been added in there let's put it over here so you can see the live preview Okay, so now with that cell selected, come back here, click over here, it opens up the entire gallery, and now I can see a live preview of what that will look like before I actually accept it. So you see, adding the entire uh, group of commands is, I think, a much more efficient way to customize your Quick Access Toolbar than right mouse clicking a single command. And always remember that you can come in and put organization into your Quick Access Toolbar. From the drop down menu, more commands, just come over here. And if you need to change and move any of these commands, whether they're a command group or an individual command, you just select it and then move it up. Now notice over here that when you're selecting from either the popular commands or the commands on the ribbon or anything, these are individual commands. So my best practice tip to be able to have uh, the entire gallery, the only way that you will get that is to right mouse click the entire group. So over here, if I wanted to have the editing group, right mouse click, add to the quick access toolbar, and there it is. So that whole group of commands will be available for you. So these are some great tips that will help you to get over the productivity hump. This is one of the tips that I offer along with 49 others on my DVD, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. You'll see it over here in the beginning group. So these are the uh, tips that I have on the DVD at the beginning level, the intermediate, the advanced level, and you also get the opportunity to work with the actual workbooks that I use on the DVD. So until the next lesson, I hope that you go out and put this into practice and immediately say, now I love Excel 2007, now I love Excel 2010. Thanks Danny and thanks for watching.